tail of his original SPAD 8, which flew at the aerodrome for many, many years and has since been presented to the National Air and Space Museum in Washington, D.C. in 1994 after Cole Palin passed away. Cole Palin, of course, the tireless owner and operator for so many years of the old Rhinebeck Aerodrome, the realization of his lifelong dream. This reproduction is designed to serve the museum's growing participation at air shows like this one that perform away from the aerodrome and out of necessity, this one because it goes cross country is powered by a modern engine and equipped with brakes and a tail wheel required for use on paved runways. But all the other dimensions, specifications, and characteristics of this reproduction are just like the original SPAD 8 that flew for so many years at Old Rhinebeck. There, you get a beautiful view of that airplane. And uh, no, wait a minute, uh, Donna, if you could check on the runway, there's another aircraft on the runway right now. Donna, there is another airplane out there on the runway, and we might need to get our security people out there to get rid of that other airplane. Um, uh, it's a biplane. I can't tell what it is, but uh, maybe we could uh, we could get there. We could get radio contact, perhaps, with Jim Record. Jim Record is the pilot of the uh, the span. Now he's coming in low, and the, uh, that that airplane's making a takeoff. That airplane is making a takeoff right now. Uh, I, I don't really know what we want to do about this. But, uh, that's that's Jim Record who is who is flying that. Uh, Jim from Long Island. He's a he's a started his career as a Navy fighter pilot, but now I think we're in some trouble here. That look at that aircraft. That that second aircraft on the runway. If I if I didn't know any better, I'd say he's trying to go after the Spad. It looks like he is. I can't imagine what he must be thinking otherwise. It is, yes, we have a real live dog play going on. He's trying to get on the tail of this, looks like about a 1929 Great Lakes Speedster. And it looks like he's chasing down the Spad. Who is this guy? I don't know, but let me tell you a little bit about Jim Record. And, and I'll tell you, he's going to be able to maneuver this aircraft and stay out of harm's way because Jim Record started his flying career, as I told you, as a U.S. Navy fighter pilot, so he's well-versed in aerial combat. He also served as a, an instructor and taught student naval aviators the fine art of landing an aircraft on an aircraft carrier. He's flown a great variety of aircraft from ultralights to blimps and jet fighters to jumbo jets. He's currently a captain on the 747-400 for a major airline. But Jim's passion is working on and demonstrating for you the truly rare and unique aircraft of the old Rhinebeck Aerodrome. And that's exactly what he's doing right now. Even though he's got this 1929 Great Lakes Speedster on his tail, this almost looks like a scene from the Great Golden of Pepper. And I'll tell you, this is a great, oh, wait a minute, oh, the, the, the Great Lakes. <laughs> he made a mistake there. He was doing a good job of staying on that span. They looked like they were about equally matched, but he just made a bad move, and the Great Lakes looks like he's in trouble right now. The span now has the upper hand. That Great Lakes pilot has uh, managed to, uh, to uh, trap Jim Record at the 6 o'clock position where he can shoot him down. The Spad has this fight now. He has a synchronized Browning 303 machine gun on board, and that Lakes doesn't have any, any armament on board at all, so he's just going to have to try to stay out of the way. Now yeah, look at that. The Spad's in a great position. He can dive from a high position, gather speed, and put those guns right on the tail. This is a good World War I dogfight going on for you. That's exactly the way it was. Tight turns, and uh, if you climb to get away from the enemy, uh, oh, no, wait a minute, it looks like they're friends now. They're breaking off the dog 
fight, and one's going left and one's going right, and I think we ought to wait just a moment to see what these two are going to do now. Uh, the Great Lakes is in a right-hand turn, and yeah, I was afraid of that. Jim Record is coming around in a left-hand turn. They are going to be flying in opposite directions, and I don't think this is going to be a really good idea. These are very rare and important vintage aircraft, and they are flying right toward, I think there's going to be trouble now. They are heading directly toward each other. Ah, oh, it's the dreaded head-on pass. Well, I'm glad they had some separation on that one. That was too close, way too close. But it looks like they're joining up in formation now. It looks like they're friends now. Besides, I don't think that spad would shoot down an unarmed civilian. In fact, that's some real nice formation work that they have going up there. And I know that you folks have probably figured it out already. Well, if you haven't realized it yet, that Great Lakes is also part of the show, of course. And also from the old Rhinebeck Flying Museum. Look at this beautiful two ship as they come by. Put your cameras on it. Get a beautiful picture of these two vintage aircraft. The one a reproduction, the one on the outside, the SPAD, and this beautiful 1929 Great Lakes Speedster. This aircraft, privately built in Mohawk, New York, has a sister ship to Cole Cameron's 1929 factory built model. Powered by an original 175 horsepower Ranger engine, and it's flown by another air drone pilot from Old Rhinebeck. His name is Tom Daly. Tom's been a police helicopter pilot with the Long Island Police Department for some 28 years.